Hello, everyone. My name is Yunus Eytunju. I'm Associate Professor of Mathematics here in Dearborn. I'd like to thank you all for being here, and I'd like to thank organizers, too, for the opportunity. And especially, I'd like to congratulate them for choosing seven minutes for talks, because seven is a prime number, and it is not divisible <laughs> into any proper divisors. So you cannot do this in pieces. You have to do it in one shot. <laughs> all right. So I'll talk, I'll tell you a little bit about our Maze and Blue Math Circle program, Mathematics in Detroit. Let me tell you a little bit about Math Circles. The core of Math Circle activities is uh, math lectures delivered by research mathematicians who excel in mathematical research and teaching, and bringing these researchers and uh, teachers and students together. Lectures take the form of an in interactive discussion. When you walk into a, a math circle session, it shouldn't look like a university uh, lecture. It shouldn't look like a high school lecture. It should look like a kindergarten classroom, where kids move around, ki kids talk, kids get up. They talk to other people. They argue with the instructors. They solve problems together. They create theories together. They explain, they explain uh, answers together. And at the end, they learn problem solving and critical thinking. Okay, so in essence, uh, the way the analogy I use for math circles is like e uh, healthy eating habit. So if I don't eat healthy for the next couple of days, if I get fast food for a week, that will not be good for me. But at the same time, in the long run, it will not change my overall well-being that much. Or if I go ahead and start eating really good for the next two weeks, lots of vegetables, uh, lots of protein, and I keep track of my sugar, that will be good for me, but again, it will not change my overall well-being significantly. The moment I adopt health, healthy eating as a habit, then it will make a significant change in my long-term well-being. And the way I see uh, math circles, it is teaching kids how to eat healthy, how to think healthy, how to approach problems, how to approach critical thinking healthy. So in that sense, our program is not a supplement. Uh, neither it is a pill to overcome any deficit. We don't aim anything in the first two months. We don't have any goals in the first six months. But in the long term, we believe this will make a change in these kids' education. All right, what about in Detroit? Four years ago, we started this program, and we had a group of students from different schools. But we quickly noticed. Uh, we, have, we wanted to focus our attention to Detroit because right now, Detroit public schools, they are the lowest in the nation compared to 26 other urban districts in mathematics. Furthermore, only 4%, just 4% of Detroit's fourth grade students perform at a professional, uh, at a proficient mathematics level. So there's a very significant issue here. It's not only about kids, it's also about teachers. Our math circle is designed for teachers as well. And there's a, a serious uh, shortage in Detroit and overall in the country. Uh, any school leader or administrator I talk to, they are looking uh, to hire math teachers. They, have, they need more math teachers. That's the deficit. That's the shortage. But on the other hand, more than 50% of math teachers right now, they don't have a degree in mathematics. So we felt like we had to do something. This, is, this was a problem for us. And you may think, OK, this is a difficult problem, and the solution is hard. But I'm a mathematician. I solve problems. And if I cannot solve a problem, what do I do? Approximate. <laughs> so this is, this is our approximation. All right, what do we do? We, our aim is to draw students to mathematics. We want to foster their mathematical talent and improve their problem-solving skills. I don't think any of these kids will be mathematicians. And maybe they will, not meet, they will not need any mathematicians in their lives. I don't know how many people in this audience are mathematicians, and how many of you wanted to be a mathematician. But I bet many of those kids and here in this audience, you are good problem solvers. We are talking about problems. All these talks about problems. And we want to solve those problems. And mathematics is a realm where you can practice and learn how to solve problems. Then you can move it to other fields. So STEM fields and other options in, in, in other areas, 
we believe the more mathematics they learn, they will get better in many other fields. So we uh, encourage them to explore other STEM fields, and we also help them with uh, getting into college and uh, growing interest in higher uh, uh, education. As I said, we've been working with different schools. In the last past year, we worked with four different Detroit area schools. I listed them over there, but here I have a map. You see those red dots? Those are the schools we are working with right now. And our proximity in Dearborn is a big advantage for us. So we can work with those four schools in the same school year. Here are some pictures, some photos from our uh, sessions. And as I said, our sessions should be like kindergarten classroom. And as you can see, kids get up. We talk, we use the board, we use the tables, we move around. I don't give them usually answers because I don't know the answers. And that's OK not to know the answers. It is the fun part, exploring and uh, trying to find the answers. And they work in groups. They present. Uh, we invite different speakers. It's overall a fun activity that we believe will make a change in uh, these students' uh, education. All right, so I put a couple of testimonials here. I will not read them, but uh, I highlighted a few parts. And the first one, and this is something common in many testimonials that I hear from students first and math teachers, their parents, and school administrators. They don't feel they are challenged enough in the classroom, or they are bored with the mechanical approach to math mathematics. And my motto for our, when, we, when I advertise our program, I just tell kids to come one time. And if you come one time, you will like it and you will come again. And that's how it started and how it grew. After getting one student in, it was a lot easier to get the other ones after them. So they enjoy it, they find it challenging, they find it really good for their future. So I will conclude with a couple of future, uh, we have a couple of ideas for uh, the next couple of phases of this program. Right now, we have generous support from DT and Ford. We really appreciate that. But we want to have a sustainable program. I heard from many teachers, many school leaders. People come, come up with great ideas. They come in and do some intervention for a year or two or three years, four years. And after that, they are gone. Detroit is tired of that. That's what I hear from lots of stakeholders. So that's why we want to make sure this program, Math Circle program, can sustain many years. And uh, with that, I will conclude here. Thank you. <laughs>